Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi form builder documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a post creation form in the Divi form builder plugin. Now this is a super useful feature as it allows you to create things like posts, products, and more right from the front end of your Divi websites. Your forms can be as simple or as complex as you need them to be, but we'll start by taking a look at building a simpler form for this using the Divi Form Builder plugin. So let's get right to it. Okay, so when we're building a post creation form, we need to think about what are the different elements that go into a post on WordPress. Now, if you're creating a product, you'd probably think about it a little differently, but we're just doing a post here. So first we need to think about, okay, well, one of the elements is a post title, there's going to be some content and then, you know, different categories and probably an image. So when we sum that up, it's going to be a post title, a thumbnail, a category, and then the content that will go to the post. So when we think about that in the terms of a form, we'll need four different types of fields in there. It will be a post title, which is going to be an input field, a thumbnail, which will be an image upload category now you can make this a radio select or maybe you can do a checkbox um, so that's going to be up to you and then a content area which will be the text area field type so let's take a look at how we're going to build that out in the Divi form builder okay so now that we've decided on the fields that we need for our post creation form let's go ahead and start building it out so here again, I've got a fresh page, just titled it post creation. I've activated the Divi Boulder on it. So we're gonna add a row. And then again, we'll just type in form to find the Divi Form Boulder form module. And we need to give it a title and we'll say create a new post. It'll generate the form ID. Now, of course, this these two things are very important. Um, we can give it a custom form ID. If we don't do that, it'll generate one for us. It's not needed for me to decide what that will be, but if we had a specific purpose for it, we can go ahead and customize that here. Now, next up, what's very important is to go ahead and select the form type. Now we need to make sure that this is gonna be create post form since that's our goal here. But if I was creating a page, I'd of course select that. And if I had other custom post types like WooCommerce install that installs the products custom post type that'll be listed here also but we're going to go with create post and then again all the other settings that we're already familiar with which is you know the submit button all that fun stuff but the one that's going to be different here that's important to note is the default post status uh, there's a whole host of these here but we probably think that it's a good idea to have the draft status as the default status for any form that is submitted with this form that we've created here. So just important, take a note of that. Now, next up, we're gonna start adding our fields. So we decided on the different fields that we'll have, and we'll say form title, which is gonna be the first one, or post title actually is probably better. And then the field ID, that will either be something that generates, but I'm just gonna go make it nice and easy and just go post underscore title so that it has a custom form ID that I can identify later. We decided that that's gonna be an input field. So we're good with that one. And the rest of that looks good. So we've got our first field down. I'll click the checkbox and here we got post title up here. Now, next up, maybe we wanna put the thumbnail and we'll just keep that underscore thumbnail. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and select the image upload field. And now of course, there's a whole bunch of different options here, which um, you can go and play with. Um, we're not gonna go get into that too much right now, but if you wanna make sure that it's a required field, of course, we wanna make sure that is. And those are the settings we'll run with for that one. And then next up, we wanna put the categories in there for the different types. So categories, and then, you know, of course it'll generate this um, for you if you chose to, but we're gonna go ahead and put in our own manual field ID. And we said that we're gonna decide to make this a select dropdown or we can do radio buttons. Let's just do checkboxes, why not? 
And now here's a really cool feature also of the Vform Builder is that you can actually auto detect the map field. So you don't have to go ahead and add all these options yourself. So if I flip that on, you see that those options to add those options go away. That's just one of the smart things that the Vform Builder will do for you so that you don't need to keep retyping things. So no need to manually add these. So we're gonna put this as mandatory as well. We'll say yes. And then the last thing we need to do is put the post content, right? So we're gonna put post content. We'll also make a nice easy ID to remember. Now the type here is gonna be a text area which just basically allows you to put a bunch of extra text. If I go to visual mode here, you can see some fun stuff happening here, but this shows you the image upload. You can see how everything's been added dynamically for you. And what's cool again, you know, this is a visual plugin that's compatible with the visual Builder, So we've got all the fun stuff in here. Now I'm not gonna get too crazy with making sure I've got the right placeholders in here. The idea here is to show you how we put this all together. Okay, and so we've got all of our fields set up and things, you know, as you can see, look great already. But we need to figure out, you know, whether, how will WordPress know what fields get mapped to these different elements in the post type of post? And the answer is that, well, WordPress doesn't know that automatically. We need to go ahead and tell WordPress, for example, what this title of post title field maps to and what we, where we want it to be saved to the database for a new Post. So let's take a look at how we will do the field mapping. That's our answer to making sure that things go to the right place. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so when we look at our different fields here, the field mapping, another way to think about it is just basically to link up the different parts. So how do I link up this post title to the post title of a post and the thumbnail to the featured image and so forth? That is how we're going to link things together and stitch it all up so that we have a functional content creation form for the front end of our Divi site, which is actually a very cool feature. So let's go into the post title. You'll notice that all your fields have mapping options. So you'll expand that and here we see the field mapping type is post default field. So we know that, that these are the ones that are associated with the post post type. So default field mapping, we just go over here and here you see all the different fields that are associated. So we just go ahead and select post title and it's really as simple as that. You just click the checkbox, then you come to thumbnail. Okay, we've got all of our field options here, but again, we will go down to mapping options. We'll select the drop down for the default field mapping, and then we just go ahead and select featured image on this one. And now for our categories, we go in, we make sure we've got everything selected there. We hit the mapping spot. Now, one thing that's different here for the field mapping type, we're gonna go for the post taxonomy in here. And that's what it's gonna do is map those categories that we linked up to that field earlier where we said auto detect mapping. And it's gonna go ahead and take care of that for us right here. So I'll just check the box again. And then for the content area, of course, we'll just go back to mapping. And post content is the answer to our question there. We'll go ahead and select that. And that is basically going to be it. So now when somebody submits a form in the front end, it'll map all of these things together and it's going to go ahead and create that new post. And guys, that's it. That is how you build a post creation form using the Divi form Builder. It's super easy to do, but I bet your mind's already going with all the different things you can do with that. It's a super helpful tool to make clients self-sufficient in creating posts, products, and any other custom post types that you might have added to your Divi site. So guys, if this documentation does not answer all of your questions, definitely check out the documentation site at help.deviengine.com. Otherwise, submit a support ticket and one of our awesome support team members will go ahead and help you out to resolve any issues. But with that, this was Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm gonna catch you in the next video.